this Christmas. We have to follow the evidence wherever it leads. We'll be Christmas mystery buddies. We will not be Christmas mystery buddies. We will definitely be unpacking that. The Christmas Detective, Saturday, December 16th, 9, 8 central. Part of Bone for the Holidays with a sneak peek of the new movie, The Color Purple. Hi, Javicia. Hi, Stella. <laughs> Hi, Katrina. Hi, Stella. <laughs> hey, girls. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are so grateful that you made time in your very busy schedule uh, to chat busy. about your upcoming film and um, kind of trade some holiday spirit with us. So, thank you for having me. Excited, excited. <laughs> yes, thank you. All right. So first, the first question is: um, So you're not only starring in the Christmas Detective, but you're also an executive producer. For those who don't know what that is, can you tell us what it means and how that contributed to this film, Beyond Star? I, like, I feel like it kind of depends on the project. Um, I don't know that it really um, included a lot of work on my end. I was in every single scene of this film. So it was like a lot of work on my end as an actor, you know? Um, but I executive produced before where I'm a lot more hands-on and, and able to like help bring the vision to life from that perspective but from this perspective I was mainly working my behind off as an actor like always all, being in every scene <laughs> okay so the trailer for the Christmas uh, detective has been released they low-key spoil everything but that's okay uh, for those of us, for those of us who are not familiar uh, with the trailer or the premise of the movie, can you let us know a little bit about what it's about, and then tell us about your character? It's funny because I've seen the movie. I don't think the trailer spoils it at all. I think that it gives you more of like a um, sense of like the world that they're living in. Like I remember when we were shooting it. Um, at one point, the director was like, you're a really grounded actor and I kind of needed you to be like a little Delulu, you know, as a, as a, as my character. Um, and so I knew exactly what she meant. I did pageants and I knew what the energy was that she was like referring to. And once I kind of committed to that and believed in that, then it always felt like we were up here. We were like living in this like dream world in her head versus like in reality, you know, things weren't going according to plan, but the whole town is kind of like that. Like, it's one of those movies where the Christmas spirit fills the town to a point where it's all they can think about, all they want to do. Like, it's their favorite time of year. And so you kind of live like a little bit like in all of their heads in, in their own little delusional world of like, this is the only thing that matters is the holiday, you know? Um, so I, I'm excited. You were asking what the movie's about. what well, I'm excited because it's really like you get to just jump into like this like, little holiday world of like everything is just extra Christmassy and everyone is just extra happy and it tickles my spirit to watch movies like that. I love that. It's like the Grinch. I feel like that's how the Grinch was. Everybody was just Christmas 24 seven. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. And the Grinch is one of my favorite movies. So we can stream the movie starting Saturday, December 16th. And it's part of a series of Christmas movies um, on the Oprah Winfrey Network, better known as OWN. Uh, you've worked on projects for a number of networks. Is there anything unique about working on an OWN project? I got out of Vancouver and got to see the east side of, of Canada. So we filmed in Ottawa, which is where a lot of OWN's projects get filmed. So I thought that was cool. Um, obviously, with it being... Um, uh, a majority Black-led film and, um, you know, it's a story, it's, it's, it's a Black story. Um, they made sure to support us with hair and makeup and things like that. And that was really cool because I haven't had that experience in Canada yet. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> they try though, they try. <laughs> I don't think I've had a bad experience, but I definitely had a great experience with being able to um, see myself when I walk into a trailer and know that like, oh, she got me, I'm good, you know? <laughs> it's cool because as an actor, that means you don't have to over, you don't have to worry about like your lace pulling up or like your lash, you know what I mean? Cause it's like, they get it, get it. So um, that's always really good. And then um, I guess to be a part of that world in general, that own world, because I, I always enjoy 
cult following and being able to kind of tap into like a, a following. And I know that world. That's like the movies that my mom and my aunts watch and like my mom's friends. And it's just cool to be able to have a, like a little moment in that world where I can connect with people that are like, they, they remind me of my aunts and uncles. Um, and that's what that following really, really is. <laughs> That's cool. Like, you know, yeah. and all the aspirations that you have for yourself to be a part of the world that like you've been watching, you know, and feeling close to your whole life. Now you're like, people are going to watch you in that same space. So that's great. Yeah. 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 I love that. It's like black led. It's a black film. I mean, there's a ton of black Christmas movies already, but I love that there's another one. And I mean, a lot of my favorite Christmas movies are just like white people in it. So I feel like I'm going to be able to add this to my list of like, yes, it's a black movie. My girl Javisi is in it. So I'm excited about that. All right. So there's usually a pretty typical formula to making a holiday movie. Do you feel like this movie stays pretty close to that? What we're used to seeing? Or does it shake up the formula in some way that you're able to share without spoiling too much? You know, what's interesting, I think that the, the, the city or the town is more Christmassy than the actual story. I think the, the city, the, the idea that it's happening during Christmas is, is, the, is the Christmas part. But the story could have happened any season. Um, and so I like that because I, I remember when we were shooting, we kept saying, this is a cool little world to exist in. Like this would make a, a, like a cute TV show, you know, where there's always a new crime for her to solve. Um, and so it's, it's fun to kind of be in her world and like solve things and, um, know that everything is like a mystery and everything can have a challenge and everything can, can be a case, um, and then it just so happens that it's happening around a season or, or a holiday that like everyone is like obsessed with. Well, and that's cool too, because like to your point on series, like we love it when we get a holiday episode of a show that we're in love, you know, and that doesn't really change what they do. It's just exactly. like it changes the environment 100%. for a while. So that's really cool. 100%. 100%. So this is your second Christmas film. Um, first one that you're starring in. Fans are used to seeing you as an action star on Batwoman, Family Business, and The Double Life. Um, of course, we've also seen your comedic and dramatic roles, um, like Always a Bridesmaid, Stuck, Got Friend of Me, and Killer Coach. Um, you often said that you want that you want to be known for your action roles. Um, but how do you feel about taking on these fun, lighthearted Christmas films? Um, is this something that you can see yourself continuing to do, like a Christmas movie every year? Maybe I don't know. Yes, for sure. Because as much as I like um, action films, I love rom-coms. Like rom-coms are really honestly one of my favorite films to watch. I love watching two people fall in love. And I love like all the obstacles that happen before they're able to fall in love. Like, you know, the journey that they go on. So like when I look at all of my favorite Black rom-coms growing up, like Brown Sugar and uh, the best man and the wood and things like that it's like those people those characters always have a place in my heart like I I almost can use them as an example like oh yeah yeah you remember when this character from that did this that's kind of like how they are like that's how much they're like in embedded in like my my the culture of who I am as a person and so like to be able to play those roles now for my generation of people of 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 community like it's really cool that I can be a part of those stories for sure I was excited when I saw the trailer and I'm like oh this looks like a rom-com like it was giving like um I was a bridesmaid but Christmas kind of <laughs> like I was like yes another another rom-com right. say mm -hmm. it again I said she can't get it right right <laughs> get it right. right but that's what's cool about it is like you you know they're gonna end up together so you've got that like guaranteed gratification you're not going to like get the cliffhanger of they never ended up together but it's how like what what fumble is going to happen that makes yeah, it hard for them? exactly so. right right do you prefer the more like challenging roles you said this was different for you because you're usually a grounded actor and so on and so forth but this had like made you be more flighty in a recent role you had to like be really dramatic <laughs> um, with flash and so like do you prefer you know that it is very different from what you're used to doing? Is that sort of what interested you or, you know, is it something else that? I think 
it's just a really cute story. I, to be honest with you, like very straightforward. It's just a really, really cute story. I liked the characters. Like I liked the town. You know what I mean? And then it just so happened when I got to set, all of the actors created so much life around the characters. So that was even better. And then I also, I like that when you talk about comedy, it's like she may not be the one making the joke, but she could take the joke. And I'm, I think that like, that might be something that I'm pretty good at. Like I'm good at taking the heat of the joke. You know what I mean? Like. It's not personal. You see what made it funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, every once in a while she'll give it, but more so it's just like, this girl is really delulu. Like she lives in her <laughs> own world of like, you really think you're about to be out here solving this case and you never <laughs> solved a case before. And so I think that's really cute and funny about how adamant she is that she is a detective and that this is going to be her first case and it's a very difficult case mm -hmm. and it challenged her a lot because of her own um perception of people and and just really like and then also like oh her love interest is so very like straight and narrow very like by the book so even that being a challenge you know when you're trying to solve a case and the person you're working with thinks completely different than how you think. Um, I think that their, their dynamic together is kind of funny because it's like, it's very Lucy and Ricky, you know what I mean? Like, he's just very much by the book and she's very <laughs> in her head. <laughs> Opposites with that. So, I mean, you, you sort of started to answer this for me, um, but, you know, this is, I know you like to like method act and so on and so forth. And this is like taking place. We during Christmas, but we know the films don't often like get filmed when the season is appropriate. So how do you, like, how did you get and stay in the holiday spirit? How did you like, you know, bring that part of this to life, you know, in Ottawa? <laughs> that, 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 that design, like they made it feel like it was, they made it look like it was Christmas. It did not feel like it was Christmas. It felt like we were in the middle of the summer and we were wearing sweaters and coats and scarves and I was dying of like it was just ridiculous how hot I was oh my gosh that's the one thing I can remember it's just like <sighs> putting all of these clothes right back on um but other than that I mean everything else is just believing that it's Christmas so let's make it Christmas and let's just be happy and jolly and like everything is good you know like that's the energy of the show of the movie is that you know there we're, we're, we're blessed to be here for Christmas and so let's enjoy it to the fullest you got Christmas twice this year. <laughs> uh -huh. I said, you get Christmas twice this year. <laughs> exactly. I did get Christmas twice this year. Um, how was it working with all of the actors? I feel like you haven't worked with them before. I didn't see any that you've worked with before. And then um, if you've learned anything, um, if you learned anything from them. Um, I know you always like to work with these these great actors in the field and take take away little things from them. All of the actors were great. I do think that it was the first time I worked with everyone. I do believe that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. However, through six degrees of separation, we all kind of knew of each other or knew each other through other people that we've worked with and things like that. So all of, all of the actors were fun. Like it, it was really like, everyone was really great at, at what they did. Everyone, it felt like had so many layers um, of the world that they've created. Um, and we all kind of just like would sit together and figure out how to interact in the worlds that each other had created. And it was super easy. And I just had a lot of fun. Like it was really, really good. You know, like everyone was light and easy and we came in, we did our thing and we left. <laughs> nice. It's Christmas time, so we can't. Get out of here asking some Christmas questions. <laughs> so what is your favorite Christmas movie? My favorite Christmas movie is The Grinch. Yes. With, uh, with Jim Carrey? Yes. That's my favorite too. I one like the favorite. new one. The new animated one. I, I liked how they did it. <laughs> I don't know. I just really like. You're it. like I, I like the original. 
it's funny he's so angry <laughs> right he's so mad it's hilarious all right your favorite christmas song or christmas album you can put them together I like um, the original of, I know this is like, I am I I should know names. It might be Otis Redding. Is that who I'm thinking of? The original song that Chris Brown sang for. Uh, oh, this, uh, this Christmas? Christmas? This Christmas? Yes. I, yes. Is it Don, I, well, I listened to the Donny Hathaway version, if I'm saying that right. But I don't know. It might be. <laughs> it might be. It is Donny Hathaway. Okay. And <laughs> well, that's funny. That's my favorite too. Yeah, it's just my favorite song. Like, I honestly, I put on. I know this is gonna sound like really old, but this is. I don't really know how to work technology like that. So I put Pandora on, and I go to Holiday Soul, and it just plays all my favorites. Thumbs up. Nice. Thumbs down. Okay, and then your favorite Christmas tradition. My favorite Christmas tradition is, okay, it varies, but I would say hanging around in our pajamas as long as possible before we put our clothes on. Um, and then me convincing everybody to do karaoke at the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> what's your what's karaoke your, song? Uh, yeah, what's your go-to karaoke song? My go-to karaoke song is Always Lenny Williams Cause I Love You. Um, and then I'll throw in like a rap song like Biggie's Warning. Be a lot of customers. More fun that way. Right. Or in Christmas. <laughs> Your favorite Christmas memory? When I got my Barbie dream house. Mm. <laughs> Yes, for the Barbie dream house. Yeah. That's a great gift. <laughs> and then, well, favorite gift that, we'll say favorite gift you've given, since that's probably the favorite gift you've gotten, unless it changed over the years. <laughs> that I've given. I usually just ask people what they want and give them exactly what they ask for. I don't, I've never really understand the concept of like a lot of surprise gifts. Like, I'm not just trying to add things to your house. But I would <laughs> call my brother like, what is it that you want? Send me the link. <laughs> I for my mom is different, but it's also like I know her so well that like I can get her exactly what I know she would want. Um, and I'm not gonna ask my mom what she wants. Then she's gonna be like, You're not listening, you're not paying attention. Call <laughs> out. I ask my brother what he wants because he keeps pretty, you know, reasonable. I'm not going to ask my mom what she wants because she's going to wild out and ask for something crazy. So, a car. I'm going to get her what I think she'll love. And I think I do really, really good this year. Mm. Well, we can't talk about this year because you'll spoil it. Do you have a past year where you like know you did a good job on a gift that you gave her? I'm sure you know I did a good job every year. Every year? You're every like, year. always. <laughs> I'm good at this. I'm a gift giver. I pay attention the details so I pay attention to the things that I see you love I pay attention to the things that I know you need um like I will be that mom that gives their kids underwear for Christmas because I know they ain't buying themselves no underwear I and mean you'll you get other kids, but you're gonna get some underwear because for the longest as adults we just start really buying our own underwear <laughs> until we're like much more in our 20s so I'm definitely gonna be that parent I can't list one specific thing that I feel like I did so good at because I give people whatever they ask for and then when it comes to my mom I just know her so well that she probably would have asked for it I feel like that's a Gemini thing is giving good gifts because we do pay attention and know what people like that's the last one on this uh this uh quick questions was mm -hmm. uh what do you want for Christmas this year Ooh. Oh. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen that um TikTok video where it's like the girl saying, when well, you ask me what I want for Christmas, I can't really answer because I'm impulsive and I buy myself what I want when I want it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds like me. So there's nothing left. Yeah, like I already bought it. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Like if I had to say what I wanted and I was hoping that like my mom and my brother overheard me overheard this conversation there's this aura i think you pronounce an aura ring um where it tracks your sleep and it tracks your like daily fitness and stuff like that like, i don't sleep that well a lot of times i'm trying to 
like kind of fine tune what it could be. I want that. Mm. You heard me, mom. Take back whatever you got me and give me that. <laughs> Not take it back. <laughs> right. I don't want what you got. I want I, this <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm good. My mom, she's good, but it's like she gets what she likes. You know, like she'd wear that. My mom definitely does that. She's very excited to give me Christmas presents every year. And I'm like, I don't even know where to put this in the house. <laughs> like, <laughs> she shaves me when I have born it yet. It's like, right. <laughs> maybe one day it'll be my style. Just right now, it's not. I feel that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to play a quick this or that uh, Christmas edition. So, real tree or fake tree? Fake tree. Eggnog, cider, or hot chocolate? Ooh. Probably can go with hot chocolate. Nice. Uh, eggnog has dairy. You can do hot yeah. chocolate. There's dairy free eggnog. That's delicious. Don't get me started. I don't like it. <laughs> it's too watery. Um, Christmas movies or Christmas music? Ooh. Ooh. I mean, why can't we just say both? It's Christmas. <laughs> you're, right, you're right. Both. You're right. We can we can we can have it all. You're like, give me a um, Christmas what? movie with a good Christmas soundtrack. Put them together. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but also, like, I wake up in the morning and I turn on the Christmas music. And then when it's time for us to settle after dinner, let's watch a Christmas movie. That makes sense. You got to have both. Um, White Elephant or Secret Santa? White Elephant, Secret Santa. Secret Santa. Yeah. Like, uh, gifts that I don't care about. Right. I think I played White Elephant one time and I never, I don't think I heard of it before. So I was really confused why I got like some ratty old book that I didn't want. And I didn't, I don't think I understood the game. Your placement That's matters it. so much in that game though. Like I've cleaned house before and then I've gotten like a, I don't even know how to regift this before. <laughs> like, <laughs> I also don't like Secret Santa though because people don't know what to get me and they always don't get me what I put on the list. Like you have the list. And you're supposed mm -hmm. to be like, okay, pick stuff from here. And they get me like random shit that I didn't ask for. So mm -hmm. neither for me. Um, <laughs> online shopping or shopping in the store? Online. I have I get anxiety with groups of people. Online, 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 online. Yeah, me too, me too. Um, purses or perfume? <laughs> I can't. Like, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Both. And I need my perfume to fit in my purse. <laughs> we could go. Yeah, you need it in a whole version of the perfume. All books. <laughs> yeah. But purses don't, I mean, purses do break, but you seem to be breaking them perfumes quite a lot, girl. Did I break it more than once? I only broke one. I don't know. I, I don't know why I feel like you broke a couple. No, no you almost I, did. You almost yeah. did. I only broke one. That was sad. <laughs> girl, did you get a new one yet? No, I'm salty because that I got that in Greece. And so it was like so much cheaper than getting it here. And it's just, I got to get off my salt, my saltiness, and then I'll get it. So if anybody wants to buy Javicia a very expensive gift, she needs a replacement. I mean, it's, not expensive. it's actually not expensive at all. I just okay. don't want to. You know more. when you are the reason why the fail happened? It's just like, you kind of got to punish yourself. And I believe in that. So it's like, you messed up. This is your punishment. Because it wasn't even that expensive. I think regular price in the States is 150 So it's like maybe I ended up getting it for like $80. I just don't want to buy it again. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um, and the last one, I think, on here. Giving gifts or getting gifts? Hmm. That's tricky because I don't want to get gifts I don't want. So I'm going to say giving gifts. I feel you. And you're good at it, so. Right, right. There are two types of people. Um, those who meticulously wrap gifts and those who just throw it in a gift bag. Which one are you? Gift bag. I don't care about wrapping my gift. All right. Um, I'm going to jump around. So are you more excited about your winter boots or your winter coat? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> oh, I can't pick. That's that Gemini. We I would say this. Body. I would say this. Honestly, out of those two, I'm probably more excited for my winter coat. Hmm. The coat is a moment. Okay. You like a really long coat. I've noticed. Like, on this, like I love the dramatic. Coat. 
<laughs> yeah, I love dramatic coats because boots, I love winter boots, but now that I think about it, they're pretty simple. Coats are always going to be a statement, so I would pick coat. Plus, the boots get dirty. If you actually live where it snows, like, the boots get dirty and then they're not cute yeah. anymore. Well, you, you just clean them up and spray them before you go out. Girl, not over here. They be all crusty with snow and salt and all that. I don't be nowhere where I gotta be walking through snow and salt. <laughs> um, I'm a shoe girl, so I definitely would choose shoes. What would you say? I'm I'm a shoe girl. I definitely would choose the shoes. I love boots. I love. I'm so excited yeah. for a variety of boots. Give me a a boot room. Um. All right. Christmas music before or after Thanksgiving? After Thanksgiving. <laughs> Slow down. <Okay>. Down. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with Christmas until the day after Thanksgiving. Same. I like, I want everything to smell like Thanksgiving. I want browns and auburns and oranges and think about heavier Thanksgiving foods. And then as soon as Thanksgiving's finished, let's bring in the Christmas stuff. I'm going to celebrate one holiday before we finish the other holiday. That's wild. Yeah. Pretty. I kind of agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Useful, colorful, colorful decor or classy, simple, monochromatic kind of decor? I like them both for different reasons. I think right now mine's like the regular holiday decor. Like I have the red, the white. Um, but I literally said to myself next year, I think I want to go with like a theme. And maybe go into creams and whites and stuff like that. Okay. And then yay or nay uh, for Christmas sweaters. You already answered one of them. Uh, Christmas sweaters, Christmas PJs, and then fuzzy Christmas socks. Yay or no, nay for all three. I'm going to guess you're yay for all of them. Maybe you'll surprise no, me. No, I'm not yay for Christmas sweaters. I don't like sweaters at all. They're itchy. And they like they give me claustrophobia. But <laughs> yes to the um, PJs and yes to the Christmas. You said socks, shoes. Those fuzzy, yeah, those fuzzy Christmas socks that are <laughs> right here. Oh, yes. Yes. It's a black person. Yeah. I'm Christmas socks all season. I don't even wear those are cute. <laughs> yeah. Before like um, winter activities, if you even do any of that, because I feel like I did see the Batwoman cast, like y'all were doing some type of snowmobiling or something a few years ago. But are you into maybe you're not into any of it, but ice skating, sledding, skiing, or snowmobiling? Snowmobiling out of those. I hate ice skating. I It's really hard and painful. Um, if you fall, the fall sucks because it's on ice, not snow. Um, I like snowboarding and snowmobiling. And Anything that's a little gentle. Skiing, I haven't tried yet. I feel like I have a fear that I'm going to go like this. <laughs> Versus snowboarding, your legs stay the same. But I actually heard snowboarding is more challenging. I feel like with skiing, I'm going to break my neck. Because I just hear like a whole bunch of neck injury stories when it comes to like skiing or um, snowboarding. Mm, okay. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up now. Um, so just a few quick uh, ones about the movie. So why do you think that fans will like this Christmas movie in particular? Uh, one is Black. Um, <laughs> it's female-led. Um, it's cute. It's easy. It's fun. It's funny. It's light. It's Christmassy. It's wholesome. Your whole family can watch it. Yeah. What's not to He's love? What's not to love? <laughs> What's not to love? And to be a lesbian in it, so. Um, okay. So because of the strike, you haven't been able to talk about many of your projects that you've been working on. Uh, we want to give you a time to share any updates if you felt like doing that. Um, to talk about anything that you're working on. Um, we know you don't like the question of like what's next because yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, we know you right now. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> You're talking about this right now. Why are you asking about that? Yes, exactly, exactly. So we wanted to change that up, but we did want to give a chance, you know, just in case you want to share anything uh, about any projects uh, with the, with your supporters. Um, nothing that I can think of. I would just say, you know, Family Business Now on Netflix. So if you haven't seen that, yes. that's really cool to watch. Um, yeah, and a great Christmas movie that's about to come out on. I don't know when you're airing this footage, but that's coming We're out. Gonna- 
We're yes. Gonna try to turn it around quickly. Yeah, Bat we're going to try to Tubi now it. too. Also, if people like huh? don't have HBO Max, they can watch Batwoman on Tubi now. Oh, oh. Tubi. Mm hmm. Tubi. But I think. What? What'd you say? You're like, what? <laughs> I wonder if they pay me for that. Yeah, right, right, because I'm like, like Tubi. Heard the new contract. <laughs> right. <laughs> we might have to go on strike again. We're not playing that. But right. um, I think it's exciting now that Family Business is on Netflix. I had a coworker. She's like in her 60s and she was telling me about Family Business. And she's like, there's this show I just started watching. It's called The Family Business. Me and my husband just binge watched it on Netflix. I was like, oh, yeah, the BET show. She was like, no, it's on Netflix. I'm like, it's a BET, BET show, though. She was like, yeah, it's on Netflix now. And I love it. So I really think it's cool that they have it on Netflix. And you have yeah. like a whole new audience now of people that have never seen the show. And yeah. Yeah, I think that's really cool. Me too. Me too. I'm happy you made it over there. For sure. Um. Okay. Well, that was it for the interview. This was great. Thank you for talking with us. Thank you for having me. Yes. Thank you so much. This was super fun. Um. And to everyone watching, be sure to stream starting December 16th, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Go figure out what time zone that is for you if you're not in Eastern time zone. <laughs> um, but don't miss it. Run up the streams. Watch it all Christmas long on repeat. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Hey. Yay. <laughs>